YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We enter the Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about safety camera curl and a little bit of the week that is going to be at hand for the Washington Commanders as we prepare for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure to go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when new content is posted to the channel like this one. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So... Ladies and gentlemen, today is Sunday, September 4th. Tomorrow is a Labor Day. Um, I have an announcement to make. So on Tuesday, September 6th at 8 p.m., I will be going live on my channel featuring a lot of some Washington, you know, commanders, YouTubers in this community. We're having a huge roundtable as we're going to be previewing the Washington Commanders versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. We'll be featuring my guy, Pedro Schmidt, Tim Sports Talk, Jairus Corner, you know, Jairus, my guy, um, and Pro Tech Sports. Um, we'll be talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars. We'll preview every single game from the week one slate. It should be fun. Again, 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Make sure you guys come through and support the live stream and subscribe to all my fellas. Now, with that out the way, let's get deep into this video. So, as you see the picture on my screen, it is a picture of Safety Cameron Curl. And, um... As we know, I want to say like a couple weeks ago, not a couple weeks ago, probably like a couple days ago, maybe like oh now almost a week, we saw a picture of Cameron Curl in like a sling, you know, like a, he, he wasn't practicing, he was on the side field. And when we first saw that, man, we were like, oh my God, here we go again with just injuries starting to pile up on us. Because now thinking about it, when that first came out, the picture, the very first picture of Cameron Curl on the size field, I think I saw it from Ben Stanley or John Kime, the Brian Robinson news was still very fresh, you know? So it was like that on top of now Cameron Curl, our starting safety, our star safety, one of the best young safeties in football, is now in a sling. And it's like, bro, we can just never be healthy. Like, we can never. It's always something with us, man. Like, it's always something, you know? Um, And when we saw that, I was just, I was immediately frustrated because we cannot afford to lose Cameron Curl. I mean, as we've seen in the preseason of this, of this past year, secondary was terrible from starters to backups. It was terrible. So now if we lose Bob, if we lose Cameron Curl or Bobby McCain, we're messed up. Like, how much faith do you have in Percy Butler right now? You know, I understand Derek Forrest has had a really, really good summer, but he was, you know, he plays mainly around the line of scrimmage. If you ask him to be a single high or your or, or, or the position that Cameron Curl plays, you know, as far as, you know, because Cameron, he moves all over the field, but as far as, you know, playing, you know, on the back end in the secondary part, how comfortable are you with Derek Forrest, Percy Butler playing that? Now, my my go-to guy would be Jeremy Reeves, you know, and he he's going to make this roster. He made this roster, I should say. Um... Jeremy Reese will be my go-to guy, but, like, Jeremy Reese is a guy that you want to have if you need him, not that you want to put out there just to put out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, can't, uh, you can't afford to lose a camera curl, you know? Um, and, again, when we saw that, it was just like, wow, man, that, that's crazy that the, our starting safety is in a sling. And then what made it even more worrisome for us is when the reporters tried to ask Ron Rivera about the situation, he said, oh, I don't have to give you guys an injury update, you know, on camera curl. So it was like, okay, well, you're hiding the injury. Like, maybe, okay, Jacksonville's probably listening, so that's probably why you want to do it, but why, why are you hiding it from us, the media, the team, people that cover this team, the people that are going to give the news to the fans to make the fans relax, but you not telling the media which I get why you're down doing it, but also on the same side, you're not telling the media is going to have the fans worrying like crazy. You now, Ron, very like, yeah, that's the fans. But they they'll understand once we tell them, you know. But that's the fans right now. I just don't want to give it, give them an update. And again, he doesn't have to. Which I'm not mad for him not giving an update. Um, at that time, maybe he didn't know. You know, but I'm assuming he knew what was the injury and he just didn't want to tell the media, which, again, is I understand why. But, again, you're having the fans worry, you know, um, I kind of felt like 
it kind of got brushed under the, under a rug after you know after that day like a couple of days we were worried and then after that we just totally forgot about it um but i wanted to come over here and talk about it because we finally got an update about i want to say two days ago is when we finally got an update uh, on what the injury was with cameron curl now let's read the article that was posted by fan side on the cameron curl injury so the washington commander's regular season opener against the jacksonville jaguars is one week away while the team got through the preseason without any major injuries, Chase Young and Brian Robinson are out for the first four games, as we already know. And we're going to add in Tyler Larson on that list of out four games. Additionally, it's unclear if Logan Thomas will feature in the week one matchup. The veteran tight end is off of the physically unable to perform list, and he has been practicing. But we'll know more about his status when Washington releases his first injury report next Wednesday. So stay tuned. Next Wednesday is the big, big day for the injury report headed into week one okay this wednesday that is september 7th okay um while it's been largely positive on the injury front fans were given a big scare wednesday when standout safety camera curl was spotted at practice wearing sweatpants and a sling and potentially a cast over his right arm now i'll save that for when we get into when they talk about the actual injury but he goes on to say this. The article goes on to say this. Ron Rivera didn't help the matter after practice when he stuck to the NFL rule book. Basically, uh, the head coach wasn't required to provide any update and won't do so until the first injury report ahead of September 11th opener at FedEx Field. Luckily, team reporters did do some digging. OK, so two things with that. Again, not mad at Ron. Of course, what I would have loved for him to say, OK, this is the injury with Cam Curl. Um, it's nothing too big. Don't worry, guys. Um, don't worry about it. It's going to be something that's minor. You know, as much as I would love for him to say that, he doesn't have to. And as you heard, it's a part of the NFL rule book that he's not required to give an injury update until the week of Wednesday, September 7th, right? So, again, not mad at Ron. Totally understand it. But I would definitely would have liked him to, you know, put us at ease because as you you as you heard it didn't make it no easier for fans to take when he said uh we don't have to we don't have to give you an update that just made us worry more and i'm not gonna lie it did okay um but luckily the team reporters did some digging so shout out to ben standing jp finley uh uh john kine nikki giovala zach selsby all uh, ethan cadeau all the team reporters did the did some digging and, and you guys found out what was wrong and i think bobby mccain kind of told them what was wrong and i i, I want to say this article is going to cover the bobby mccain you know quote but if not i'll talk about what bobby mccain said uh per the athletic of ben standing shout out to ben standing uh curl suffered a thumb injury that may have required surgery there's no timetable for his return okay um it that kind of made me you know worry a little bit that it was surgery required you know again um as my man louis t likes to say Anytime, anytime you're getting opened up, nothing is minor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we may say it's minor surgery because we're not the ones on the operating table. But if we're getting, if if you're getting opened up, it's 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 major, okay? Um, but he said it was thumb surgery. That's what Ben Standing, you know, he's saying it is. Obviously, nothing is official. Um, but I'm pretty sure he he hit it right on the head. But again, we'll know officially. Uh, come Wednesday um um september 7th now to move on more with the article it says don't uh get panicked by the no timetable for return nugget the lack of clarity surrounding curl's injury simply means we don't know when he'll return the fact uh the injury may have required surgical repairs to suggest the versatile defender's week one status could be in jeopardy on the flip side this could be a minor injury and curl could be in the commander's starting lineup next sunday after wednesday's practice Fellow safety Bobby McCain, okay, so they're, they're going to cover what I was going to talk about if they didn't. Uh, fellow safety Bobby McCain told NBC Sports Washington, J.P. Finley, that Curl will only miss a few days, okay? Perhaps McCain knows something reporters don't, which would check out our considering he spent every day with Curl, or maybe the 29, 29-year-old veteran was a, a sugar coat in the situation so as to avoid spreading uh, panic, okay? On another note, Washington just finalized their 53-man roster. The fact Curl avoided being placed on the injury reserve, which would knock him off for the first four weeks, suggests his thumb injury isn't too serious. Um, but who's to say really anytime the word surgery is thrown around with a uh, incredibly important player fans are going to get worried 
It goes without saying, but Curl is uh, indispensable as it comes. According to Pro Football Focus, Curl played 878 defensive snaps last season. Um, here's how those snaps were distributed in the team of where he lined up on the field. 297 at free safety, 244 in the nickel, 240 in the box, 63 along the defensive um, and 34 as the pr uh, perimeter corner. The versatile, the versatility doesn't grow on trees, or this versatility doesn't grow on trees. We wish we had more of uh, the updates, but all we can do is wait for Washington's word on Cameron Curl. So that's a, that is the article by Fanside. Shout out to Fanside, man. They're always hooking it up with some really, really good articles. Because I wasn't before reading this, and while reading it, I should say, I was not expecting to hear about how much he played as you know as at safety how they're going to break it down that corner i was i thought we were just going to talk about the injury and that be all but shout out the fan side man but um yeah that was a, that's a camera curl update for you guys man uh we'll just have to wait until week uh until wednesday to see the injury report um it's kind of 50 50 with me it's i'm worried because he had surgery according to ben standing but i'm also not worried because bobby mccain is saying you know he'll only miss a few days bobby, bobby mccain isn't a doctor though so that can still be worrisome but also he wasn't placed on the physical and able to perform list or the four weeks you know injury reserve list so i'm still a little optimistic but again we just don't know right now we're in the dark and we'll have to wait till wednesday to hear what ron grass is saying for the first official injury report for the game versus the jaguars so yeah man there you have it as always been boy Juan Gotti. like comment subscribe hell to the washington commanders want to roll to 5,000 subscribers so that's grab again if you haven't already give me your comments down below in the description let me know how you guys are feeling about camera crow and his injury as always me boy Juan Gotti. like comment subscribe i'm out peace uh, cost me one time that's gonna get you pop get you pop